Hoya after the fight with De La Hoya in which he went the distance, got knocked down with five seconds to go, was beaten on a relatively one-sided decision. He said, frankly, that man's too fast for me. On the other hand, Vargas does not have that kind of blinding speed. When he was a teenager, his mother discovered boxing paraphernalia in a gym bag and nearly fainted. Told him he can't become a fighter, a prize fighter. He said, then I'll be a bullfighter. She said, okay, you can be a prize fighter. He has run with the bulls in the festivals of Spain, but he fights more like a bullfighter. I asked him if the excitement of running with bulls was on a level with the excitement of fighting in a prize fight. And he told me in Spanish, compared to running with bulls, fighting a prize fight is like taking a nap. <laughs> His wife, Marta, accompanied him all the way from Madrid to Chicago for the fight, but tonight has elected to stay at the hotel rather than to come to the arena because she gets too nervous watching her husband fight. Well, who was that woman he just kissed then, Jim? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm going on the information our producers have given me, but maybe there are other Spanish women in the arena here tonight. It's a good question. Maybe they know in Madrid. Incidentally, Roman Karmazin recently dominated Kasim Uma to take a title belt at 154 pounds. Castillejo easily beat Karmazin. On the other hand, he lost twice to Laurent Boudouani, who was sort of the Javier Castillejo of the 90s. A tough French fighter with an awkward style who was difficult for opponents to solve. If Fernando Vargas had beaten Oscar De La Hoya, his next opponent would have been Javier Castillejo. Now here comes the pride of Oxnard, California, who came here a few years ago to Chicago to watch his Olympic teammate David Diaz fight and was treated so warmly with such welcome by the crowd that he promised himself and his followers at that time that someday he'd come back to Chicago to fight a professional fight, and tonight he lives up to that pledge.